Published 1316 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018. Updated 1456 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018. Top Gear's famous aerodrome test track is set to become a housing estate after planning permission was granted to build 1,800 new homes. Sajid Javid, Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government, personally approved the proposal, which could see a glut of new homes built at the site. Shops, schools and churches could also be built on Clarkson, Hammond and May's stomping ground, which has hosted the BBC Motoring Show since Jeremy, Clarkson and Andy Willman revitalized the format in 2002. Top Gear's famous aerodrome test track is set to become a housing estate after planning permission was granted to build 1,800 new homes. The aerodrome, in Dunsfold, Surrey, could become known as Dunsfold Park if the building goes ahead. Pictured, Matt LeBlanc and the Stig the Aerodrome, in Dunsfold, Surrey, could become known as Dunsfold Park if the building goes ahead. Leader of the local council, Councillor Julia Potts, said, I am delighted that the Secretary of State has granted planning permission as this development will provide significant benefits to the local community. Of the 1,800 new homes, 540 will be affordable. The development will also create over 1,000 new jobs and secure substantial financial contributions for much-needed infrastructure. Following the announcement Bob Lees, chairman of Protect Our Waverly, said, We are very disappointed that the Secretary of State has permitted this development to go ahead. While more housing is needed, it should be put in the right place and Dunn's Fold is clearly not the right place, with its totally inadequate infrastructure. The planning approval was granted on Thursday, March 29.